Hi everybody, my name is Catherine Weiss. I'm going to give you some psychic lessons on learning how to activate your gifts and how to use them. Also I'll be teaching you what it is to be psychic and to be empathic. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, there's a lot of information to go through, so I'm going to start with introducing myself, which I will reiterate. I am Catherine Weiss, and I had an awakening five years ago. I've always been sensitive and psychic, especially empathic, but I didn't know that that's what it was that I had. Um, I just thought I was oversensitive and felt a lot, but there was a lot more to it that I would soon find out. So, um, I will begin with, I like to give a lot of advice to parents, parents of kids that are psychic. So your psychic children, firstly, allow me to introduce my a little bit about my story and, um, you know, my backstory so for you. I'm a mother of two. I am a sensitive empath. I'm also a woman. I am, um, well, I come from a background of a fair amount of sexual abuse. So I grew up adopted as a baby and that carried on to me feeling a lot of abandonment issues and you know just really feeling like I didn't fit in or I didn't belong you know and the more I grew up I always felt like you know I I had no one like I felt like I had no body but I did have a sister that I grew up very close to and she was my best friend, my sister was, um, she's also adopted. I am a warrior, I speak for all people that have suffered abuse, um, sexual abuse or the like, any abuse, neglect is abuse, you know there's much different types of it but mine was fairly fairly ongoing and horrific so we all have our own traumas and our own stories. I've also been awakened which is I like to explain a little bit about that. That was after well I had had a divorce which was probably about nine ten years ago now. I had been with this man since I was 15 and I was with him for 24 years. In the end that really didn't work out we were I was really growing away from him and uh, I wasn't growing as a soul or, or, a, or a person end of that in an absolutely horrific way I did not know how to look after myself so I was basically a baby when I left and I made a heck of a lot of mistakes which I won't go into now um, I broke up with a guy um, who I'd gotten with after I left my husband, not long after actually, which was a really bad idea, too much baggage, nothing healed at all, nothing and nothing was sorted out. So I eventually left him because it was a very toxic relationship and it was going nowhere, absolutely nowhere, just traumatic, traumatic to say the least. Um, so I am a deep lover and I'm a core earth lover too and I love life forms, I love animals, I love people. I don't so much love people. I care about the human race. I've been very traumatized by humans so I, I really see them now from a different light though. Since my awakening I understand a lot of human human thought and spirituality and um, souls and a lot of information about that now. 
I've been studying up on psychic abilities and going through my own growth and journey in the last five years. Still made a lot more mistakes and I'm hoping that I'm at the end of a certain pattern that I was in. I really feel like I'm at the end of that now, like I know I am. So what I want to say is, I feel deeply, um, I do feel like I learned a lot about narcissists, which I didn't know before until this last relationship that I ended. Um, he was a psychopathic, narcissistic, sociopath and born nasty character who came across as a nice kind person. So I got to see the truth of what that kind of character is and I've also studied and researched a lot more about that. Um, but I see it in a different view, I see it um, as I'll explain a little bit later on. Um, continuing on, I ignore those types of spirit or banish them out of my life, so I keep them out of my life. I do my best to know who I am and love who I am. I know that before I could ever get with anyone else, I really need to be in an excellent relationship with myself. Most people don't do that and they make the mistake of just jumping from one relationship to another, which I have done. My happiest times were when I was, you know, I had the small kids and was married and, and all the security. But And also after that, breaking up with boyfriends and being by myself and living with my son was an absolutely fantastic time. I really enjoyed that um, immensely. And so moving on, I like to help people, you know, with metaphysical understanding, paranormal understanding, psychic understanding, you know, to try and help people understand spirits and their own soul as well and everything that goes with that. I like to help people learn about their spirituality and their psychic abilities. I feel very strong empowerment in that way. But I do have to say that if I'm working, say if I'm working with someone or I feel a block that there's no way this person really believes anything about this stuff, um, you know, it's not going to, it's going to be absolutely a waste of time to talk to that person. So I don't waste my time with people that are close-minded. Um, I learned massive lessons in my life, which I'm still learning. And one of, one of now is never to be accepting of abuse. So I believe that I've come to the point where I won't ever accept abuse of anyone ever again. No way, especially men. I've always given my power away to them and picked ones that were really, really ill people, really narcissistic, and that was hitting your head against a brick wall. There's no way you can help anyone like that. They're just on a path of destruction and they see in you what they do not have or possess themselves, and all they want to do is destroy you, especially when you see that they they know what that you know what they are. Once you realise what they are, they they really turn on you and they will destroy you, those narcissistic people. Moving on, we keep in a positive frame of mind. Um so so disempowering people, we keep away from this. You know, I'm I don't really class myself as a loner, but I do stand alone as a strong person but I also do well I have in the past really fallen in love with people and but now I, I really don't do that anymore um, so if a lie is told you know as an as an empath through media church parents family others any others politicians, people, or, you know, sales people, anyone that tries to get you to do things that they don't really want you to understand why you're doing it, but they just want you to believe what they're saying 
for one reason or another. It's usually a selfish reason. I don't fall for that stuff. I've always been really awake to it. So you can't lie to an empath, as you know if you are one. You can't lie to an empath, guys. We're lie detectors. There's no way that you can. Um, so every boyfriend I've been with, I know exactly what they're doing before they even know they're doing it themselves. It's pretty interesting. It's actually really hard to, to be with someone when you know that stuff. But um, it also brings into mind at the moment while I'm speaking that if they are really good people and I am like that, then I won't be picking up on anything negative. So, so I will definitely be listening to my intuition. Very important point to make. Um, all humans have different roles and missions. Um, don't mistake what looks human to be a human. I mean by that is as they're not all the same guys, um, they're not all the same. If you're psychic and really intuitive, or if you don't care, either one, um, if you're the narcissistic, dis disengaged type, you won't give a rats about, excuse me, about other people at all. So you don't have empathy, you don't have anything like that, but the empathetic people can feel like I've always been able to feel the energies of people and um, I've always prayed to be able to see inside the crap so to speak and um, the falseness to be able to see the truth of the intention of the person and what what they really are what they're about so moving on I will say that um, you can feel it like I just said um, the actions that they do what they, how they feel what they look like not always what they look like it's more like you feel it definitely some are here to hurt and destroy others to terrorise them and drain them they're here to get what they want for whatever purpose they want it for greed, whatever whatever they are after selfish reasons um, for amusement you know they think it's pretty funny that they torch, torture and torment people and stand over them you could call them bullies um, they steal others energy I'm sure you've experienced this at times to them the narcissists they mostly not all not all narcissists are evil I don't feel um, I say a large percentage percentage of them are I feel a dark energies amongst them I call them vampires of energy stealers so they do unspeakable acts of harm to animals and humans and the planet they don't care this is real it's seen if you look online or anywhere you will see this there are the empaths us the light workers that are ones like moi who are psychic they are awake but most are damaged and tormented by narcs narcissists bullies the negative race um we're here to shine light on the dark ones and on the world to awaken the world and to give them love to show love we are warriors we actually learn by our mistakes and love we are judged and we are called weak but I give you a warning right now we are not weak at all. We know to act as if we are weak because this way we can actually learn more about people around us if we just stay a little bit more quiet and, um, and hide underneath a little bit. So we're actually 
smarter than the average bear, guys. We're stronger than the rest. We evolve. We grow. We become better as a soul. So, knucks never change. Those types of souls don't change. They just get worse and they enjoy it. You can't mess with them, I'm telling you. Don't waste your time trying to help someone like that. They use you and they go on to the next person. Wipe your hands of them. Keep yourself safe and alive. What happens to them? You know, we feel empathy, but we can't. We can't afford to do that. Um, in the end, we suffer. And we can't afford to do that because we're really needed on this planet as light workers. We can't bear to be hurt. We can't bear to be hurt. We feel so much. We feel so strongly. Others. We feel others' pain and spirit's pain. We also feel the pain of animals and the earth. We feel overwhelming, overwhelming pain. And sometimes we don't know why. Maybe we're picking up from one of our family members that is ill or something like that. Um, I remember a lot of the time I can actually feel the weather and this one day there's this massive massive storm and I felt my head felt like it was just getting squashed like it felt pressure so much pressure and I thought something is going to happen so I felt like something with the earth is going to happen I didn't know what it was and then within like a day or two there was a massive um like cyclone I think it was or that was a hurricane actually it was a massive storm that hit and done a lot of damage so that's that. That's quite overwhelming being like this, being an empath and being so open and sensitive. And I want to finish on this lesson um, that as an empath and a psychic, we need to learn protection. Okay? We need to learn protection. We need to learn how not to pick up other people's garbage, other people's crap, other people's bad energies, okay? Um, and I'll teach you a bit about that later. But yeah, as an empath, we really need to know how to do that. Um, one of the main things is boundaries. You know, I, I've learned big lessons in that because I was so open, I wouldn't put up boundaries. And it's actually really scary for us to put up boundaries. You know, we feel like we're hurting people's feelings and I feel like I'm gonna like get yelled at or in trouble, you know, like scares me. But I've learned that I've suffered so much from not doing it, so, so I just do it now. And I'm, I just think, you know what, I've got to put me first. I'm sick of putting everybody else first and then suffering for it. So I'm gonna end the lesson today on that one. I'm gonna post it. Um, if you have any questions, just. Um, so I guess this lesson is kind of about empathy and just a little bit of an intro. I've got a lot more where that comes from, guys. So uh, thank you for listening to me and I send you love and light. Be kind to yourselves, guys. You do have to put yourself first. Think of others. But if you're an empath and you don't take care of yourself much, you know, you've got to start to do that. You've got to nurture and love yourself because... If you don't look after yourself, then how are you going to help others, you know? So you got to take care of yourself, love yourself. You are special. You are amazing. And peace.